See, I don't want to say anything. Getting to know you, getting to know all about oh, you. Cool. <laughs> getting to like you, getting to hope you like me. <laughs> Haven't you noticed? Suddenly we're all bright and breezy. Because of all the, get your old mic, wonderful and new things we learning about you day by day. Count funny, count funny. Yes. One more time, count funny. Count funny. Oh, let's all bow our heads. Ladies and gentlemen, in the house, fashion. Everybody, Guru. What can we say? Artist, how funny! Scream for <laughs> Yes. What's I, happening? Everything is good. Everything's mm, mm, good. Mm. What's happening with you? Oh, it's nothing going on but the rent. <laughs> and that's Yo, not he, going on. He's doing a good job. <laughs> See, here's the part I say you guys don't realize the gift he has. And, and botany, you you really have to understand. Mario didn't know nothing about you coming. I said, oh. he says, what are we going to talk about? I said, watch how you do what you do. <laughs> and then you'll just run into it. Did well, you God will put it all on her. <laughs> <laughs> Did you trade off a beat? Not at all. So welcome. Thank you. Princess, Diva, Botany, Calfani. Now, I, I want people to know this. You, you've been in the business as a fashion designer. And you like to stay behind the scenes. But first, let's just tell everybody. How did you come to meet the fellas? or myself at Pack Stereo. How did we connect and where did we connect at? I think we connected at a, was it a movie premiere? Yes, it was. Back in 09. Yeah, you're good. And Very you good. you were out there. I oh think you nine. were doing interviews and yeah, then you yes. came up to me and you like my boots or whatever. Yes, that's <laughs> oh, the boots. If you guys want to see the boots. And she got boots on the day. She got boots on. I'm going to show you the boots. The boots oh, yeah. Show us the oh, boots. The boots. The boots. The, boots. the boots are on fire. Oh, we right don't there. need no... My boots. Look at those yeah, boots. profile. I love boots. I oh, love boots. Yes. I wear them summer, winter, anytime. Good you in California. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> we can do all of that. Man, those are nice. Everybody, take a look. We got to remind you because she's been here before. And she has a wonderful website. So let's take a look, Vic. And you can tell us a little bit. There we go. Ooh, yeah, this is that. wonderful. I mean, this... You know, it's, it's interesting, you know, Botany, I, I really don't want to do all the talking because Botany, it likes to be behind the scenes. And I, and I can tell you this much. Some people walk Wrong up with place. The, <laughs> 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 you know what? See, you see what happened? Now, now you see why I don't set him up on anything. I said, because I, yeah. I, I won't have to worry about it. But truly, truly, she, she has this gift. I went out to a, uh, a fashion bazaar that you uh, yeah. uh, about a week or so ago. Mm -hmm. Now, before we go any further and just tell everybody about you know, the background, how long you've been involved in, in fashion, I just want to get to the event. What was the purpose of doing the fashion bazaar? Because I saw more than just the design. I saw you in many different roles. <laughs> so you're going to have to enlighten us with, well, I do other things as well. Because we only are calling you a fashion designer. Yeah. But there's more to you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm more than a fashion designer. Um, I dance. I'm getting into acting. I write as well. But, you know, fashion designing is my main thing. It's because it's the way I express myself through my clothing, through my designs, and my creativity. And I feel that fashion designing leads me to inspire women. When I design for women, I can inspire them through my clothing. I want a woman to feel bold and sexy and confident. You know, everything. I'm kind of, I'm kind of reserved. I'm kind of shy. But when I design for another person, I want them to be everything that I <laughs> would like to be. Um, <laughs> You know, just very sexy, very bold, and everything like that. Uh, but with the Fashion Bazaar, I was the fashion show producer. I put on the whole event. I um, The Fashion Bazaar is a community event that I put on, on off of Crenshaw and Slauson. And basically, it's I did it to get different designers together to come together in, within the community. Because to let people know that you don't have to go out to Hollywood and shop. You don't have to go, you know support all these big mis businesses when you have people right here who are creative individuals who are doing something yeah. you know with their talents and so support them you know the money doesn't have to go out the money can stay in the in the community so that's why i put on the fashion bazaar and the first one was in september and it was pretty good um 
we had about 20 vendors, jewelry vendors, uh, beauty vendors, clothing vendors. And then we put on the fashion show and everybody loved it. And so we're going to continue doing it just to, you know, inspire people within the community. While you're wow. talking, wow. you know, she and, and one thing about people like her, she is a wonderful presence with her little self. <laughs> Prince smile. No, she is. But yeah. I want you to take a look. Seeing is also believing. Right. And it has a way looking at what at examples of her work. Take a look at this. From YouTube, and and she can perhaps you know tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Uh, that's a show that I did a couple of years ago in Clover City. Uh, it was called Runway One Runway Rhythm, uh, and that's one of my pieces. Uh, we call it the Ostrich Skirt, cute, and cute. it's very fun and flirty. Um, that was from a summer collection that I had done. I just wanted people to see, you know, she didn't, believe me, she didn't know about this, and I hate to put her on the spot like this, but I just went looking at YouTube. She's got some nice presentation, you get to see her. Yeah. And again, nice, very well done here. Thank you. Presentations, just the way they bring it. And so, as you can see, the designs are very bold and sexy. Oh, look, and very you were edgy. doing blocking before blocking was hot. Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> Yeah, I like to I like to use a lot of different colors and just, you know, mix up a lot of different things in my designs. What I like what you do also, you you really don't shy away from women who are figurative. You know, no. they have shapes. No. Yeah. No. And, and that's I, now, good old I think a, I think a woman should embrace her curves, you know, no matter how big, no matter how small, you know, because of it's a beauty in in being a woman, you know. That's what we have. We have curves and, you know, even if they're bigger than most, smaller than most, you know. We have to embrace it and show it. Yeah, absolutely. That's what being a woman is about. Now, how, as far as the industry is concerned, because you, are, you already have traditions that's in there, they, they really go away from this a lot. They do. They do because of, I don't know who set that standard, but, you know, it was set back in the days by a certain group of people. Sure, but sure. basically, you have to be able to do what makes you feel right. People in the industry will try to dictate, you know, who should wear what, why they should wear it, and, you know, what the designs that cost the most should be only worn by a certain group of people, and it shouldn't be that way. Now, would, so, you, would you consider yourself the rebellious? <laughs> I, I rebel against the corporate standards. I am. I, in all my ways, I'm very, very rebellious, not just designing, and so... I just like to do things differently. People are like, oh, you know, you should, you know, only do things in a certain era, area. You should only design for a certain group of people. I'm like, I'm going to do what I want to do no matter what. Yes, thank you. <laughs> How would they know if they're not in your shoes? Exactly. Uh, How would you, what you I don't should like, do? I don't follow everybody else. Yeah. You know, I follow my own mind. No. So. I really like those baby doll ones, the two baby dolls. Oh, the dog. ones that just passed. That's something I would wear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just loving how fine these ladies are. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and, and really, there's an elegance. Yeah. yeah Always it's, it's with your creation. It's a sexy sophistication. And so, my mom, <laughs> my mom, whenever I'm designing some clothes, my mom, she's like, you know, that's too hoochie. <laughs> like, no, it is not. Like, you need to design something more classy. I don't really listen to her, but I she just taught me to be, you know, a classy well, person. Well, there's influences yeah. there, right? Because <laughs> you do, you do, you know, it's everything is sexy, but it's certainly yeah classy yeah. in a in a way that That's real wow, yeah. just That's a different pretty. kind of provocativeness. Yeah. And yeah. you know what I love back. Yeah, even if you ever got too. a good front, you could got a, everybody got a back. <laughs> oh, yeah. this is hot. Show <laughs> <laughs> <This is hot. laughs> yeah. some back. That's nice. Too. Now you know we always say that you do we we just don't do things mm -hmm. alone, and you do flirt with the sexiness a lot. It takes yeah. confident women yeah. to be able to feel comfortable about their flirting with things that at a moment's notice could reveal mm -hmm. themselves. Is there certain type of women that you find that make your clothes stand out even more because they really don't worry about those kind of situations? It's or? just a confident woman, a confident wo woman, a woman who knows herself. I like to, a wo even if a woman is like size 16, if she doesn't care, you know, who sees her breasts, who sees her legs, you know, she, j she just owns herself. She just, she's just herself. Those are the type of women that I really like to ha see in my designs. 
those are the type of women. Um, so just confidence. And Mac wants to know, when are you going to Paris for Fashion Week? <laughs> <laughs> I want to go soon. What? No. Really soon. And no. he says, wow, this that's is nice. great. You know, that's why I want you guys to see, because her work, you know, when you see it in this mm-hmm. manner, mm-hmm. And, uh, it really speaks for itself. Huh? Last month was the first Fashion Week I've done. I did Africa Fashion Week LA. Oh, yeah. And it was pretty, pretty good. Um, a couple of people I knew put it on, and it was a really great production. I never really wanted to do a Fashion Week before. Oh, look um, at you. I know. <laughs> yeah, wait, I'll back that up. Go up. I got to back that up. There she is. There you go. There this you go. This time you have to walk all the way uh, out. Oh, like yeah. The- she's so shy. Look at her. She don't want to do uh, it. Look at those boots, you guys. Look at the boots. <laughs> It's so hey, let's see what she has to oh, say. Oh, no, no. Cobra City Veterans Auditorium for Run Ray Rhythm. I just finished the show. Bought the Calfani Designs. Oh, my goodness. So hot. They loved it. They loved it. Yes. I had the tour dresses for the women. It was just so nice. You know, summer bohemian type dresses. Had the melon dresses. The sequins at the top. The rhinestones. It was, it was you, girl, you can so show nice. accessorize. My makeup, my hair. I'm a superstar. She put me up. I got contacted by Samuel Wesley um, for the show. Um, he said, uh, Is this Botany? I was like, Yeah, this is Botany. Um, well, I'm doing a show. My name is Samuel Wesley. Have you heard of Run Right With Him? I was like, No. Like, well, um, I want you to do the show. I got your car from one of my models. I'm like, which model? And he said, uh, he didn't know. So I'm like, uh, okay, so <laughs> let me know what's going on. Let me know the details. So he let me know the details. I'm like, okay, this sounds like something I want to do. So I looked him up, and I'm here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we're doing tonight. We had a few designers here. We had Pedro Montegos. We had uh, Cowgirl Heaven. We had... Uh, As I, everybody's I'm stuck with this. www.iambotany.com. You gotta check that out. I have updates on my website. The pictures are coming in. It's just new new clothes that you have to rock. You have to be dressed in Botany Calfani this summer. It's the only way you must step out. When you step out, you don't want to look like everyone else. But when you step out in Botany Calfani, everyone else wants to look like you. Oh. That's how we do it. Yeah! yeah. Um, I like that line. I love that line. When you're backstage, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of excitement. I'm here with display mode media, doing it big, how they always do it. Recording me, recording you. <laughs> you need to get in touch. Yes, display mode media in Botany Calfani. Display so mode. Doing up real big this year. I we like what they did. Big. So you be ready, and if you're not ready, you better get ready. We're going to come at you. It's going to come hard. That's how we do it. Everybody. You know, everybody. You know, wow. Chat room fascinated with her. Mac McAllister, our GNM Bureau Chief. Many of you don't know. I know his long past. You know, he's a long history. Uh, shooting album covers. Uh, also... Uh, television, radio, doing all kinds of stuff. He studied at the Sorbonne. Yep. So Mac was in Paris for a few years and he speaks French. And he does, he wanted, I need to know, he does have a contact wow. in Paris. He does have a contact in Paris. Cool. Wow. So I wanted that. He's one of Mac McCalsey, our GNM Bureau Chief. So yeah, the, everybody's fascinated. And it's hard not to be. Uh, it sure is. And it makes me go into a question here that you're about to where they say the rubber meets the road. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. To yeah. be unique also means that there are conditions where you know if you do, do go to Paris, can you be as rebellious <laughs> as you want to be? Or do you find conformity is going to be in front of you with certain conditions and exceptions? Because is that the ultimate goal to be featured where it is known that that's where you make your brand and your name? Or you want to try to be outside the box unlike many others that have not done it so well? Well, I'm going to go wherever I'm going to go basically wherever I'm, God leads me. And no matter if I'm in Paris, <laughs> like I'm, <laughs> I'm so I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna yes, do, and do you. <laughs> you're, 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 I, I can't, I can't, I can't stray from that. And you know, I when people people are gonna accept you, or either they're not, they're gonna accept right. your designs, or they're not. And so, basically, wherever I go, and if I'm accepted, then that's fine. Yeah, and I Anything agree. I think the whole that. reason if you do make it over there is because of what you've already done. Yeah, you, know, you already sold the seeds here, so that's you know, it makes it easy. It's the part where you go, it's a dominated world in a certain type of thing where, you know, women are just not featured with shapes. You know, you're, you're going against the grain, which I think is going to be the popular thing anyway. I think just the nature of where the economics pu- pushes people mm-hmm. that, yeah, you can, you can sit there and say it may not turn over, but I, I like that you're challenging those norms. That's well, impressive. And Vic, Vic, speaking of challenging norms, let's take a quick look at her lingerie collection. <laughs> I knew you was going to go to that one. Wow, first. you guys, take a look. <laughs> Whoa. You want to describe? Lingerie or bathing suits? You, it could be worn either way. as oh, okay. lingerie, swimwear. As long as you wear it. <laughs> <laughs> you know so, what? I want to get that. some of these statues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, look at this one. This one is hot. The color. Once again, her use of color, one. you guys. Take a look like at Like I some. said, I think a woman should be sexy and she should express herself in that way. And so, yeah. you know, Wonderful. that's why. <laughs> yeah, that's why. I created, you know, the lingerie and the swimmer like I did. Now let's take a look at the dresses real quick too. Wow. Oh yeah. What type of materials do you use in your dresses? Uh, I use all type. I actually like to use a lot of lace because uh, I like, to, you know, to show certain parts. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she does. And she does. Uh, take that's a look. that dress right there. It's a sheer abstract dress. It's wow. actually hand painted. I I'm, I'm, I'm also an artist, so I paint on my clothing and mm-hmm. paint on a lot of different things. Oh. oh. Great. That kind of reminds so. me of some people I know. Oh. Yeah. Huh? Um, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, exactly. I want to remind everybody, too, the website, www.Batani Calfani. Uh, I always say, Botany, I always <laughs> have trouble. B-A-T-A-N-I-K-H-A-L-F-A-N-I.com. You have another website that's under development yeah. and being featured with other... It's a little bit apart from what you're doing now. Yeah. You want to explain? Is that the I yeah, this No, no, no. This, my website that's up right now, that's the Botany Kalfani website for my couture designs. And then I have another website. You can't go to it because it's under construction, but okay. it's called The Seduction Awaits. And oh. that's where I have ready to wear clothing for women of all sizes. Mm-hmm. And those clothing, that clothing is still sexy, but it's for women of all sizes. Um, just everyday wear, things you can wear to work, things you can wear to a club anywhere uh this site is for things that you could wear like for special events you know now do, now uh botany do they come to the sites to make the purchase uh yes so yes. you guys if you want to purchase you got to go to the sites you got to make a visit and take a look at what she has what's available yeah so Beautiful. that site uh the botany Kalfani site my price points are very high on that site and then the seduction awaits their more afford- affordable price points okay. on that site for the ready to wear now, what's, what moved you to go where you feature women of all sizes? Is it because the nature of the economics says it lends itself to people want to be able to be affordably fashionable in all walks of life? Or did you just find to say, hey, look, I just like to feature women because I think it's a goal. Was it a personal goal or economic uh, change? Well, a lot of women who saw my designs were, you know, more of, people who are more plus size and you know just the average size and so they were like you know i can't wear that you you need to make something for me and i'm like okay okay so a lot of people kept on coming up to me and telling me that right. so i was like okay i really need to cater to this market and so that's what i started yeah because some the- stuff we want to hide <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute now devote now devote of course devote being in fashion 
what, what's the commonality between fashion designers? Is there a, a singular stru- struggle you guys go through? No matter how much you, you wear the, gl- the glam, the swag and everything. Navo, is there something that you both can share that says this is our number one issue whenever we're designing or putting on a fashion show? I have one thing. What is that? A plus size woman wanting to look like a size three woman. (laughs) (laughs) And she wants you to do magic with her. Yes. Yeah. Like put her feet in them shoes. (laughs) Baby, your feet ain't gonna fit in them shoes. And maybe you're sure about the size. And usually when I'm, I don't, I don't really do any custom designs anymore. Uh, but when I used to do them, the women would be like, you know, and I want, you know, this to, you know, just be really tight on my stomach. And I would have to tell them, like, you know, I think, you know, a little, just maybe a little flare around it would yeah, be much better. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Instead of trying to fantasize, you're like, no. Yeah, because, like, some things just don't don't look good on you know some people and you know you have to let them know that or else uh, someone else will and they'll be like you know you deceived me you just tried to sell me a dress no (laughs) so you have to let them know um mac wanted to know have you ever been to paris he's really excited about i haven't been to paris that's one of my goals to go uh next year actually Okay. Wonderful He's going to try to make that happen. He's Wonderful clean email subways. me the information okay. so I can get it to you. All right, cool. That's good. Thanks. Any other message you want to send to the fans? They're loving you oh, in the chat room. And these are these are not the best <laughs> dress. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say. No, Mac. We, take, no, we, Mac we took T-shirts to a new level. No, no. Mac is Mac a well-dressed. Is Mac, on, is, Mac is well-dressed. He is uh, well-dressed. When he gets ready to. <laughs> But when he's laying around the crib like us, you know, he and PMC. <laughs> well, basically, uh, the message I want to send to the fans is just basically have your own style and your own creativity. And um, with my designs, that's what I inspire people to have, their own style, their own creativity. And also to check out my website, botanycalfani.com. <laughs> that's the message. <laughs> and um, the seduction of weights.com. So don't look at it now, but. Wait, would you say seduction and weights? The, yes, the seduction. It's the seduction of weights. T H E S E D U C T I O N A W A I T S dot com. Oh, weights. Oh, weights. Oh, weights. Yeah. Oh, weights. <laughs> I didn't know the white you folks will be here Monday. <laughs> oh, <I'm saying laughs> Everybody, Bobby Calfani. Yeah. 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 Everybody sing. Oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Getting to know all about you. All about me. Getting to like you. Getting to hope you like me. <laughs> Haven't you noticed? <laughs> Suddenly we're all bright and breezy Ooh. because of all the wonderful and new things we learned about you day by day. Everybody! Yeah. Yeah. Bunny! Yeah. Cal Funny! Yeah.